Well, good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel for another video. You ready to go? Yeah. About to head out in this rain, hence why I'm wearing my rain jacket. Um, what a miserable Sunday it is. How are you guys? How are you doing out there? Hope you're all keeping safe and well. Um, Sunday. Now, we did start a bit of a vlogging yesterday, um, but we ended up getting too busy. We had two matches yesterday, Lewis and I, football. We ended up having to uh, not record. We recorded a little bit at the first match, and then we didn't get a chance at the second match. But yes, guys, welcome back to the uh, welcome back to the football. Welcome back to the channel for another video. Um, Lewis finally got his wig chopped. Finally, yeah. where? No. Where? Sitting playing that bloody phone of his again. Um, yeah, he finally got his wig chopped. Have a seat. Look, he finally got a haircut. Somebody got a haircut. What's with the grumpy face? Just want to go and go to the shop. Ooh, what is that on top of your head? Ooh, that's a big spot right there. Ooh. Oh, the point <laughs> that's a, here, that's a joy of getting older. The point it out, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're a teenage boy, full of grumpy moods and spots and what are, what else did they say about uh, boys? Full of uh, spots, grumpy moods, BO, and what else? Farts. <laughs> Oh, the joys. Remember, anyway, guys, yes, we're about to hit the shops here now. As I said, I did get some footage yesterday. What do you think of the football? I'm all serious. No, come and sit beside me. I want to be chatty about yesterday. What do you think of the football yesterday? Now, the first game we went to was the 20s game. And it was 1-8, so we were robbed in the last minute, weren't we? So, and then we went to the set, uh, first team game, and we got beat again. When are we ever going to win a match? Next November. Next November. But here, on a positive note, on a positive note, uh, the welders had a striker return after two, nearly two and a half years injured. Spike, Matthew Ferguson, the son of Irish league legend uh, Glenn Ferguson. And it was so great to see Spike back, wasn't it? Because I mean, how long have you been like kicking the ball around with him for? Donkeys. I think they broke my wrist a few times. I'll see a few <laughs> He's trying times. to save a few of his shots. I have a few times actually. Yeah, but here, guys, we got a funny story before we continue on today. We were at the grind yesterday, getting ready for the second match, the first team. You want to tell everybody who turned up at the ground? Hey, oh, Granda. Yeah. <laughs> Natalie and Granda. Yeah. Mum and Dad were right yesterday in Belfast for the day, and they stopped off at our new ground. Now, Dad hasn't seen the ground since it was a, not the very start of a building site. No, I'm, trying, I'm trying to hold this camera. Um, and he turned up yesterday, and he said, I need to go for a wee, because he came up just to see us, and we're standing in the car park talking. And it was a funny story, wasn't it? Well, it wasn't funny what happened. Would you say it was funny what happened? You could laugh about it now, nah, but at the time, no. Um, we were, <laughs> we wanted to go for the bathroom. So I says, Dad, come on, I'll take you into the toilets where the staff go to, not the public toilets in the stadium. So we took him inside and he loved it. Why are you staring in the space? Are you wearing your own today? He's not wearing his own today. How could you be tired? You slept for like 13 hours. Yeah, well. Take, told you, teenage grumpy hormones, B.O., spots, and... I don't know, whatever else. Anyway, Dad went into the stadium. So we took Dad from there right down the tunnel where the players came out and showed him a little bit of the new stand. We are going to take him up to the ground eventually, show him everywhere. And he was walking down the tunnel with Lewis and I. And we literally turned her back for, what, a split second? I, I turned my back. You've you seen it. Before the boys finished their warm-up at the very end to do like a shooting practice thing, and Dad was standing in the tunnel and one of the boys hit the ball and the ball flew across into the tunnel and smacked Granda right in the face. It was, um, I guess it was. Was it Matthew? Oh, Jesus, it was Spike. <laughs> I thought it was him because he came over and Dad was obviously dazed and he was holding his face and was like, oh my God, you all right, Dad? And he was like, oh, yeah. So anyway, yes, to cut a long story short, Spike came over and I introduced my dad to him and Spike wanted to see if he was okay because Spike's that type of guy, isn't he? Mm. Matthew, he's that type of guy. Yeah, yeah. He, he comes over and he says, you okay and all? You all right, man? This is Matthew, this is my dad. Uh, dad, this is Glenn Ferguson's um, son. And Granda, in the middle of his holding his eye and all, just looked up and went, I know your dad very well. I used to watch your dad play for years. So he's a big fan. <laughs> it's like, like, is he okay? Is he okay? So, but all jokes aside, I'm not going to the way there. Um, yeah, dad got whacked in the face with the ball. So, but he's all right today. He was playing me up when I phone him last night to see if he was all right. He was like, I've got a black guy. You know, he's shut. But nightmare. But what a first experience in the stadium. Whack in the face with the ball. Anyway, we lost one 0 yesterday, guys. You want to go and check out the highlights from a great game. Matthew made his return. It was actually a pretty good game in the second half, wasn't it? 
Um, I'm gonna go check out all the photographs. It's made a big difference up front. I oh yeah, hundred percent. And the things are gonna start changing over the next few weeks because he has he had like a good chance, but then he passed the one person you told him to lay him off, but then he didn't realize mm. he passed to him, and then he missed the ball. That he had a good chance to save with the keeper too. So things are looking positive over the next few weeks, guys, because a lot of injuries have been out for like a year or two, whatever, and like to spike for two years, are all coming back. Plus the January transfer windows around the corner as well. So hopefully we'll get more new players into as well. So things will be looking bright for the. The Welders next week's game is going to be a big massive test. Us against the bottom team, mm -hmm. nightmare. Anyway, yes, cut a long story short again. Um, you want to go and check out the highlights from yesterday's game? You can on the Welders TV YouTube channel. You can watch a really good interview I conducted with Matthew afterwards. We talked about his uh, rehabilitation and his knee operation he had to get, where he had to get his knee replaced and all his rehab and all those things they like got. And we talked about him coming back and. It was a great story, guys. Go and watch the interview. It's a really, really good interview. Uh, Welders TV. Please check him out and hit subscribe on that channel as well. I interviewed the manager too as well. It was a great, great uh, interview. But anyway, yes, um, we lost 1-0. But at the end of the day, we did get a bit of footage while we were at the first game at Wilger Park, the East Belfast Derby. Uh, where we didn't get very much, but we got some footage I'm going to show you too quickly. And then Lewis and I are heading out here to the shops. Because the big game's on today, Liverpool versus Arsenal. Yep. Yes, live reaction video today on Redmen Football Ventures and on this channel too as well. Yes. Is that beeping noise? My washing machine's finished. So yes, Redman Football Ventures and also this channel today, Liverpool versus Arsenal. It'll probably be up before this video, probably. But anyway, we're going to go here now. So enjoy the footage from yesterday. Somebody got a haircut. Somebody got a haircut. Somebody's got a big spot on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm only winding up. Brooks better work today, so we're not going to see Brooke all day either. Right, guys, not be babbling on. Babbling on here for nearly seven minutes, as you can see at the top of the screen here. Yeah, roll. Aye. Dad, if you're watching, hope you're all right. Yes. Mm. I know he's laughing, but I'm really not. I thought bad. He'll probably look at it back out a couple of years and just laugh, like, but we'll see how it goes. He's all right today. I was speaking to him this morning. Matthew's shots head. are phenomenal. So, do you know his dad is in the top 10 overall top goal scorers in European football, along with the likes of Messi and Ronaldo? His dad is. Unreal striker, like, phenomenal striker. Right, let's go. Out to the rain. Enjoy, enjoy the footage from yesterday, guys. I'm going to have him set for a while. Mm. Let's get this vlog started. Ah. Flashback. Let's get the vlog started, guys. Hi, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> right, Mr. Photographer, can I have a photo, please? <laughs> you all right? Here. I see you finally got that wig chopped anyway. Let's have a look at you. Look up. Look at him looking all fresh. <laughs> oh, he's looking fresh. Well, we are here at Wilger Park for the under-21s game against the Duns, East Belfast Derby. We were here, when was it, a couple of weeks ago we were here, wasn't it, for the Derby? The first team. So, two matches in one day, which is great. So, it is, so. here. What do you think a score prediction will be today? It's the top of the table clash. The Welders are top at the minute and Dundell is second. Huh? The under 21 league, yeah, the Welders are top. So. Happy days. Yeah, at least you look better without her cut anyway. <laughs> what? Oh, you're so grumpy. Where are you going to speak to the referee? Uh, oh, I want to speak to the referee, dude. Well, not the result we wanted, Lewis, but what a Kiwi's goal, eh? Kraken, thank you. What a goal. Yeah? Third goal right at the end, though, was a bit disappointing, but the draw is the draw. Well, we're leaving here and I'm about to interview the manager here and then we're about to leave here. So, ready to go? Oh, my God. Are you serious? I think you're a bit too big for that. Yeah, you are, you're a bit too big for I'm it. not too big for that. It's meant to be small. You get that in your bedroom, could you? No, it's meant to be small. Put that in your bedroom? Could you? Yep. It's actually got a scoreboard on it too. I missed it. <laughs> oh. oh my god, what do you like? Anything to play basketball. It's the fact that it's actually got a scoreboard too, look. You're in your element, aren't you? I have to play sports. You probably would. Oh look, it has to be singing on it. It doesn't have to be singing next to the ground. Look at her counting all her millions. How's work? It's good. Go 
Yeah, busy, busy. What are your tips? No, that was just all my money, but someone's tips, yeah. Can I ask you a question? No. Where's mine? <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm tired. You're tired? I'm going to bed soon. I'm tired myself. It's only half nine, I'm going to bed. Oh, it is. I am exhausted tonight. I'm really tired and annoyed. Yeah. Never pulled a bait. Oh. No. So, seeing your brother today and Smith's playing a stupid basketball game. You ever seen it? I'll show you it in a second. I'm going to stop recording here. What a nightmare. He wants her for his bedroom. Yeah, I know. It's not happening. Not a chance. It's the next morning. And they probably look like as rough as the Badger's backside. <laughs> um, well, I turned the camera off last night. I was talking to Burke for a little bit. Made myself a cup of tea and fell asleep on the chair. So I get the, the, the vlog finished. Um, just exhausted, guys. Just Last night I was just so tired and I went to bed. and <coughs> I woke up this early hours this morning to go for the bathroom and looked out the window and saw the moon. The moon last night was just incredible. It actually lit up my whole back garden, the moon. You'd have thought it was like partly daytime. The moon was incredible. And I just looked at my bedroom window and went, oh my goodness me. You thought someone was shining the spotlight on my back garden. It was insane. Beautiful. And this morning is a clear blue sky. So kids are just away to school there, guys. I'm getting up to get my day started. Now I'm waiting to get a shower here and stuff and get this day of mine started. I've got lots on today. Um, I've got a bit of work on today. I've got an hour of mats to edit. I've got this vlog to edit. I've got some stuff to get ready and prepared for the podcast, which is going out tomorrow. So, guys, if you want to get your questions in today, I'm going to give you a deadline today um, to get your questions. I'll put some on Instagram and Facebook there. So, uh, the Family Friendly Podcast is on Tuesday, and then, obviously, the Unleashed version is on Thursday. So, um, I'm actually going to try and get out this afternoon at some point, whenever I get finished up, to speak to the manager of the supermarket just across the road to see if I can... Maybe speak to staff or speak to some of the staff in some of the stores and try and get some insight of uh, what I'm going to be talking about this Thursday, the energy crisis and fuel crisis around the world. Cost of living basically is crisis as well, as people are calling it, what their thoughts and views are on it, because it's going to be uh, an interesting winter, so it is, and Thursday's podcast is going to be interesting, guys, because for what I've been seeing the last couple of days with the, the stuff that's been coming out in the news, it's really starting to... Not worry me, but just more annoy me. So stay tuned for Thursday's podcast about that there. Oh, I don't know. But Tuesday's podcast, I'm going to answer some of your questions and talk about, about our week and talk about a couple of things I got there as well. So stay tuned for that. Right, I'm going to go and get a shower and get my day started. So there'll probably not be a vlog today. I want to get this one out from the last couple of days where you saw us a football, Lewis playing basketball in the middle of a toy store. Unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Two of them got up this morning. My face is on them like scalped, ar scalped arses. What's wrong with you? Brooks went to college this morning and then she goes to school straight after. She's only out of midday. And then Lewis went to school this morning. Just all, uh, uh, it's Monday. Uh, unreal. He'll be happy tomorrow night. Remember football training? <laughs> He's mustard. And I get, oh, also, if you haven't checked out the, the live reaction video from yesterday, guys, on this channel here and also on Red Bend Football Ventures, Liverpool versus Arsenal got beat again yesterday. That wasn't a good result. Roll on Wednesday night against Rangers. We need to turn this around. We just heard apparently this morning that Trent and Nunez, or not Nunez, Diaz, are both injured. I may not play on Wednesday, and it's a bad looking sign for Diaz, as apparently he was spotted leaving the ground in crutches. I don't know. Nightmare. It's just our season. Same as well. There's just one of our seasons. It's just a nightmare. Here's something things turn around. Right, I'm going to go, guys. If you enjoyed this video, as always, drop a like on it. And also hit subscribe below if you're new to the channel. Get those questions in for the podcast, guys, whether it be Tuesday or Thursday. I have a deadline today for Tuesdays. You want to get them in for Thursday, drop them in now. You've got a day or two to do it. And I'll get through most of them as I can because I'm going to take the best ones and sort of answer them. So try and get them out as best as I can. So until the next vlog, guys, see you all soon. Thanks for watching.